Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Chill, No Man's Sky. So last time we were here, we actually finally were able to broadcast that message of the universe is a simulation and all this other stuff. Oh, holy Jesus, you run fast, boy. Um, that the universe is a simulation and all this other stuff. Yeah, let me get back in the ship. Thank you. Ooh, tier five complete. Yay, nice. We did that and, you know, we had to go tell Nada and Polo, but I didn't do that yet. I decided to do some traveling, get some uh, uranium for my ships. And, ooh, wait, is that more uranium? Is that the one that I haven't gotten to yet? No, that is the one I got to. Okay. But is this uranium? Yes, it is. I would definitely like more uranium. I'm not gonna be fussed about having more of this because this is free launch ship fuel. Well, not free, but close enough. This is really powerful launch fuel. So I wanna get as much of this as I can. Then I'm gonna summon the anomaly, head over to Nada Polo, do their thing, and see what else we gotta do here. But for sure, I'm gonna start doing some of the base stuff that I could do again because apparently with the Quicksilver store now there's a whole new set of features that we could do for our base like building a garden out in front of the base and everything so I want to search for more planets find other planets that are really good looking and then we'll start working again towards finishing the story because apparently now we're close to the end or at least what I'm assuming is going to be the end because they were talking about oh you got to get to the galactic core and find the atlas and all this other stuff, so I want to get that stuff. The kitten Skylark. Whew, okay. I want to get that stuff sorted out and, you know. Uh, let's delete that. Thank you. Alright, into the Skylark. I want to get that stuff sorted out and, you know, get all of the story, you know, finally realized and. And I'll just use the Let's Chill series for No Man's Sky as just an exploratory thing and, you know, enjoying, you know, different planets and just a good way to relax. I did not mean to pull up the galaxy map, but as you can see, we do have quite a ways away anyway before we can get there. So that's going to be like a two, three, four episode kind of thing, maybe. Okay, there's the anomaly. It, it'll definitely take a while to get to the galactic center. Like, that, that's not a, a very easy trip to make. Let's pop in here. God, I'm never, ever going to get used to this. Let's see if anyone says hi back. Anybody? Maybe not. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, so I gotta find not in Polo. Okay, this is hi YouTube. <laughs> I don't really even know what to say to this, so, uh... Where are they? Not a polo, not a polo. Where are you at? Ooh. I literally don't remember where they are. That's, uh, no bueno. I 
I'm assuming he was talking to me. Maybe not. I don't know. Where are these two? Maybe they're over here. All right, well, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to these guys. All right, so quick shout out to uh, Hammer and Nails, 104-664-0421. I hope that's not your phone number, my guy. And I don't know how to scroll on this, so. Eh. I know somebody else has said uh, hi, so. Sorry, person, I can't give you the shout out. I can't remember your name, but you'll definitely be in the video. Where is... Are these nerds? Not Apollo. Where are you at? Uh, the Purge. Board the space anomaly. Speak to Nada and Polo on board. I know they're in here. Oh, I'm just actually drunk. Nada and Polo drift between worlds. There are many. Have you seen them travel a friend? Nada wishes they could, but they can't. Nada regrets much. Nada tells me that they found refuge in this space anomaly, a pocket dimension located between universes. The station was waiting for them, even recognizing them by sight and sound. Nada has a theory. They believe that the pair caught in a paradox. They believe that they are the ones who created the space station many years from now. They believe that their presence is a constant in all versions. They will not explain what they mean by this. Nada merely offers their help once more. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so I can either seek the path of the Atlas, ask for a shortcut, or request resources. I'd rather have resources. Aid my travels, only wish for me to be happy. <gasps> yeah, baby, it's an emerald drive. Yeah. Ooh, who are you? Oh god, wrong button. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. Nada will help in exchange. Progress for progress. Okay, this is the same thing I did before. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you for all those Nanite Cluesters. How do I see player names? How does one witness? Build the Emerald Drive now. The Purge. Speak to Nada and Polo. Okay, so I gotta speak to both. Always more to do. Oh yes, but not just now, friend. Go, be free, see the stars. Okay. They're keen active team exploration, however, and offer a range of technologies to further the cause. Suit technology, weapon technology. Ooh, ship technology that I could just purchase. Yep. Uh... And the Indium Drive? Oh, I see. We got the big boy drives. Okay. Well, I guess that's a thing. I'm on the space anomaly. Was I supposed to summon it first? Traveler host and guys? Please? What happened? Plug. Let me see if they say anything. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Shameless plugging ahoy. Whoosh. Okay, so I summoned the anomaly already. Purge, progress towards the galactic center. Okay, so that's just it. Just going straight to the galactic center now. Okay. The Atlas is dying. 
It wants me to reset it, to plunge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to do so may reset this world, my life, and all that I know. I do not know if I can do this. The question is what do I do? Is the final interface, the Atlas path, or spoil the galaxy? Let's do the final interface, why not? I don't know what this does. Okay. Holy crap. That is crazy though. We've now done it. Like we've now we are setting up for what it should be the last major story mission of No Man's Sky. Wow. Um hmm. That actually was a lot less dialogue than I expected, so <laughs> um I guess we'll just have to check out what planets are in the star system. I'm actually curious now. We might just have to make this a uh, half story, half uh, base stuff. So it's got agricultural research. I've got Mordite that I can harvest, I think, in my base. So I just need to go to the space station, check out these planets. Ah, chill. An icebound planet. There's Alderaan. The rainy planet. That's an icebound planet. Hmm. What would I name this one? Ooh, I know the perfect name for that star or that planet. Hoth. I'm gonna call that one Hoth. Ooh, what is this though? Oh, great. It's another ice planet. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, this one was called Utrab Omega, and it was really red from the surface, so I'm assuming red water? Yeah, it has red water and really aggressive sentinels, apparently. I'm definitely not going to stay on this planet. However, I will land. Uh, 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 what? What? <laughs> What is going on there? Why did it just... <laughs> what? I don't know what that was about, but uh, we're just gonna hop out. Oh god, the Sentinels are just flat out hateful. I'm just gonna skip that. Give me in the ship, thank you. So this planet will be Hoth. Let's rename this. No. This one shall be Hoth. Alderaan has a moon? Oh crap. I should have named that planet Endor then, man. I could have called it the Forest Moon of Endor. <laughs> oh, that would have been a great meme. Oh, I can't believe I missed out on that because I wasn't paying attention. That's what I get for being stupid. I don't think I'm actually going to name any, this planet anything. It looks cool enough. Uh, I mean, ice pun not intended, but yeah. And there we go. Now I have this one. The weather is crisp. Just, just crispy. Just bacon. Alright, time to bounce. Bye. Now, where's that moon at? Is that the unknown moon? Or is that Alderaan? Ah, no. That is the unknown moon. Ooh! Ooh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? No. No. I thought Alderaan had the moon. I was wrong. It was this one. Okay, I don't care if it's a nice planet or not. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna do 
I can't believe I'm making this stupid meme. I swear, please. Ah, oh, it's a toxic planet. I was hoping it would have been like a paradise planet because then I really could have named it the Forest Moon of Endor. <laughs> oh man, this sucks. Oh well. Unfortunately, I must step out. There we go. Oh hey, life form. Plenty. That takes care of one. Takes care of two. Ooh, it's a it's a triceratops looking thing. Three. Whatever you are. Four. That everybody in the vicinity? Nope. What are you? Oh god, it's it's violent. Oh, it's a big boy. What's this big boy? Alright, anybody else? Oh yeah, that's right, I have a toxic protection shield. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna die and then I just remembered. I haven't I don't take any toxic damage ever. Alright. Thank you, boys. Okay. I think there's not much left to explore on this side of the galaxy, I guess. So, if that's the case, we're going back home, boys. After God knows how long, we're finally returning to the base. Alright. Poof. There we go. We saw beyond these walls. We saw a world of death. We can take you there should you not please us. I don't care. Get out of my face. See, y'all think you scare me, but you don't. Alright, you know what? No. Let's fight. Stop. Oh, am I getting... <gasps> Oh, I got allies this time. Oh, y'all goofed it this time, boys. Y'all goofed up. Nah, 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 nah. Catch some of these. Catch this. Catch these hands. Thank you. Goodbye. Where was I headed? Space Station. There it is. Y'all had me all turned around. <sighs> I did not mean to go to the anomaly. Welcome aboard a new hope station. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. Ah, home sweet home. All right, let's do it. More diet roots, right? Twenty-five. Yeah, you gave me just enough. Thank you. You. You grew it, didn't you? The Mordite root is done. There you go. Let me see it. You mastered so much of the botanical art, my friend. To see that others understand its virtues, well, it gives me hope. It is a pity you can digest so little of your own produce. But creating life is its own reward, is it not? farmer has no more tasks to me. They tell me that their contract is at an end and they will be returning to Gek territory. As they discuss their leaving plans, they watch the ceiling carefully. It is unclear what they are looking at. Suddenly, Merchant Utagal grabs me, telling me it's not to trust the Overseer, that their fellow Gek may not even be a Gek at all. They seem to suggest that their food is somehow drugged. But this can't be true. I've shared meals with the Overseer and I'm fine. They would never do anything to harm any of us. The Overseer only wants what's best. A moment later, the farmer stopped speaking. They assure me that they were just joking, and they beg me not to speak of this matter again. I won't ask, let's just thank them and go. I thank Urchin Utagal and leave. They've been a loyal friend. I'm gonna trust them on this. Wait, I thought you were done with all your tasks, my guy. I, I'm not feeling like myself, Traveler. I do not think I should go, not just yet. Yes, that's right, I will stay. The farmer appears to be refusing to leave, despite a lack of continued payment or directors from the overseer. We spend our day tending to my crops, no longer proposing any tasks. 
They claim they have nowhere else to go. I'll just smell. Merchant Utagal. Oh, Jesus. Merchant Utagal smells back. Happy to be here among their plants. Awesome. Uh. Wait, is that it for base missions too? Is that it? Oh no, don't talk about that with the base stuff too. Oh my god, I really am. Okay, well, uh... There's not much I could actually do left in this episode for right now. That's the case. I guess this will be the end of the episode for today, guys. I know it was rather short, but... I'll handle doing more of the base building stuff and possibly some of the mid... I have power though, right? Grid power storage is going up. Okay, good. I do. De I definitely have power. Okay. But yeah, so I will go ahead and save this, you know, for now, save this and then do some more stuff in the next episode. I'm going to figure out what other things we can actually do besides just going straight to the, you know, center of the galaxy. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Chill No Man's Sky. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if, you, if you've not joined the Curly Crew yet. That way you can join the Curly Crew, be a part of my, you know, community, my very small but growing community. And that way you guys keep up with whatever episodes I upload. I'm sorry about that. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Chill No Man's Sky. And, you know, we'll push through and see what we can do. Build some indium and cadmium drives, check out some of the other star systems, and maybe farm up a whole bunch of units so we can get even better ships. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.